Hi everybody, my name is Alicia and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And today I want to show you how to make a card, this card right here, using the awesome Butterflies and Flowers Layering Decorative Masks. These are just awesome. I had no idea you know anything about them I mean I know how to use a mask but I've never used a layering mask and I watched a couple videos on YouTube and thought oh my gosh I need to try this so I made this card today for a color challenge on another site my um, upline has a weekly color challenge and this week's color challenge uh, was rich razzleberry fresh freesia and pear pizzazz and I thought what a great time to try out these layering masks and I thought, well, I'm going to do it. I never intended to make a video yet because I thought, oh, I'm not going to do any videos until after the first of the year when the new catalogs come out. But I just couldn't resist. This is just too cool not to share right away. So in the mini catalog um, that will start January 4th, you can find the butterfly and flowers layering decorative masks on page 65 if you have your mini catalog. If you don't have your mini catalog and you want one, please feel free to reach out. I will gladly mail you one. <clears throat> so these are the masks. They are, I haven't used um, the background ones yet, but here are the backgrounds. I'm not sure how well you can see them. Maybe if I put it up against this dark paper. I'm gonna get up against the white. This is one's really cool. I can't wait to try this one. Then there's this uh, kind of like a leaf vine. Ooh, that one's cool. That'll make a really cool background. And then there's this other one. So pretty. And then the other three that are in the set. There's some flowers and leaves. And these are my all-time favorite. I love these. These are the ones I used in the card. And then there's the butterfly. And I... <coughs> oh, excuse me. If I sound really throaty and I'm battling a Christmas, over Christmas gold. So you'll have to bear with me. I'm going to have to stop and take a drink of something every once in a while. <clears throat> and I already know what I'm going to try with this butterfly. I watched this, um, I've watched a video where they did the butterfly and then they added, you know, this detail, which is so cool. But I also saw a video where they did the butterfly and then they added the flowers on the wings from the masks. That is so cool. So let's, let's show you how you do this. It's, it's relatively easy. If you've masked before, it's pretty much the same. You just um, need some uh, scratch paper, and I am using grid paper, but you're also going to need some scratch paper to cover up the spots that you don't want to go through. I'm going to be using ink pads and blending brushes today, and you're also going to need something to clean your mask off with, like a baby wipe, a wet towel, and then something to dry with, like a paper towel so on and so forth because so you're going to want to clean your mask in between your colors so the first thing you want to oh and you're probably going to need like some washi tape something that's not you know that's sticky but not too sticky so if you have washi tape use washi tape um this other tape that i really like it's uh i posted it's called labeling and cover-up tape this stuff is great it's even it's i think it's even better than the washi tape um i bought this on amazon so this is another really great tool to have in your craft room. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to start <clears throat> by deciding where you want um, your mask. I really liked the idea. The card I had in my mind is I, I want it flowers in the corner and a sentiment up here. So that's why I thought I'm just going to take my... Um, my mask and my paper and I'm going to angle it like so. 
and hopefully I have this in the camera so that we can see everything. I think we do. And then what you want to do, once you have it in place, you want to use your washi tape or your whatever tape you're using and you want to adhere it. So I like to adhere it to my work surface so it does not slip and slide. And I also like to attach it to the paper. And when I'm using the paper, I use the post-it note because this stuff doesn't tear the paper or, you know, leave residue. So I'm going to do that and make sure that I have it, you know, good and secured. And then you want to start with your light color. So I'm going to start with my fresh freesia. And... We're going to use the blending brushes for this. Get a little space here. Okay, so we're going to ink up our, our blending brush, just like so. And we don't need our spare pieces. Of, well, maybe we should. Let's grab my spare pieces of paper here. Because you don't want any ink to go outside of the mask. So you have to excuse me, my craft room is a disaster area. I don't have much workspace. So I think that's good for now. You just don't want to go over onto your your blank on your paper on your mat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get my fresh freesia. I'm just gonna cover it and get it to the color your what you know if you want lighter, darker. Okay, go like so. Okay. And then you're going to remove your mask from your mat. And this mat I cut at five by three and three quarters using basic white. And then I'm going to take a baby white because that's what I have handy in my craft room. Um, whatever you have, but make sure you have something with you when you're ready to try this. And then I'm just going to go over it like so and just, and you see, you get the ink off so we don't get it. And I always like to go underneath too, just in case. We don't want to get it anywhere that we don't want it to be. And I'm going to take my paper towel and just make sure that it's dry. So, all right. So now what we want to do is we want to take the other, the layer, and we want to adjust, adhere that, and line it up with the first. And once you play with it, you'll see right away what I mean by lining it up. Because you know you don't want to see any of the white spaces that you just colored. And then I'm going to stick down my tape. And then I am going to cover my areas so that I do not go over anything where I don't want the ink. <clears throat> Let me move this out of the way. Okay. And we're going to put it down here. And we're going to put one right So, so you just want it so you only have the area that you want your ink to go. So now we're going to switch to our darker color, which I'm using Rich Razzleberry. So before I do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of the Fresh Freesia off my brush. And with your blending brushes, um, I like to just stay in the color family. So I use this for pinks and purples. I have a green that I like to use with just my greens and then what I do is I just get the color off as best I can. Um, you can wash them with um, some warm water. Okay so now I'm going to take my rich razzleberry. I'm going to make sure that I have all my spots covered up here so I don't get any on my mat. Okay I'm going to take my rich razzleberry and get good and inked up here. And then I'm going to 
go over this like so and this is going to make our layer which i just think is absolutely beautiful okay just like so and you don't have to use a blending brush you can use a sponge you can use a sponge dauber um whatever you have i have the blending brushes handy so that's what i'm using today and i really like to use the blending brushes they're so much fun okay so now let's get this all out of the way and let's uh see what we got here let's remove this and there you go here we have isn't that beautiful i just absolutely love that and i love this i love the white the lines in there isn't that pretty oh i just think that is just so beautiful Okay, so what we want to do is um, I'm going to clean my mask off so I don't forget. And like I said, I just take a baby wipe and I just go over the top. I go under the bottom just to make sure. Just like so. Okay. And then I am going to use one of the other masks to get a couple leaves on there. So I'm just going to grab this one here. I like these leaves. They have the little rounded to go up, butt up against the, the flower. So let's see. I want one right about here. So again, I'm going to grab my washi tape. I'm just going to take off the ones that I was using before just so that we can hold that down. Excuse me, I my throat is no fun. It sounds terrible, but I actually feel fine. So, and then I'm gonna take and make for sure that I don't go crazy with my blending brush and cover up that area there. I'm gonna take my pear pizzazz, and depending, do you want if you want your leaves lighter, darker, you know, I'm gonna ink up my blending brush, but I'm gonna take a little bit off. Because I, I don't want too dark of a leaf. I just want a nice, light, subtle green. So we're just going to go over our mask. Just like that. Okay. And then I want to move it. So just take it. And, <clears throat> and there. We have a leaf there. And let's see. Where else do I want a leaf? I think I want one up here so and I'm not gonna wash this one in between because I'm using the same color and I'm just going to place it just like that and I'm just gonna tack down my tape and I'm going to go like so there's another set of leaves And I think I want a couple down here on this bow here. Let's see. You just kind of, you know, just move the mask around until you find what you really like. And that's all I did when I did this one. I just laid it on the paper and until I saw what I liked. And just like that. And I'm going to grab another because I'm notorious for going a little crazy with my blending brushes. I'm just going to cover that spot up too so I don't go into that open space. I'm going to get a little ink. I'm going to go off a little bit. And I'm just going to... Just like so. Peel this up. And there you have it. There's your... Uh, Isn't that just awesome? I just love, I've always loved using the masks on different things. I love doing a sky and clouds with a mask, but this layering one to me, and I'm sure it's probably nothing new, but it's very new to me. 
I just think that it is so beautiful and all the color choices and possibilities that you have. So yeah, so there's the the mat. And what I did was I just cut, you know, my card base. And then I cut a piece of pear pizzazz to go with the leaves. And then um, in the Ridge Raspberry, I stamped the sentiment. And the sentiment that I used is from the very beautiful Friendly Hello set that starting January 4th that you can get for free with a $100 purchase. You get this awesome stamp set and you get a pack of designer series paper, 12 by 12 paper. It's just beautiful. And that's in the celebration. And that starts January 4th. And I, I used Hello Friend. And then on the inside, I used the stamp Hope You Have the Best Birthday. So yeah, that's how you use the masking layering. The layering masks. <laughs> so if you have any questions, um, as you can see, I, I like my ink here. I got ink everywhere, but... If you have any questions, just please let me know. You can um, reach me on Facebook under Expressions by Lish. You can find me on uh, the Stampin' Up under Alicia Markfort. And if you need anything, you can always email me. All my information is on the Stampin' Up's website under Alicia Markfort. And I will gladly send you a catalog or an answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching. Bye now.